Is it a good time to buy a home in Austin right now? Well, I can't answer that question personally for you, but in this market minute, I'm going to break down the local stats and what we're actually seeing happen on a day-to-day -day basis so you can decide whether or not it's the right time. The Austin Board of Realtors just came out with their latest stats for the month of August and the median price in Travis County dipped a little bit to 534,500. Now, if you look at this month to month, we are seeing that prices are starting to decline a little bit since we've gotten past the start of the school season and into the fall. This does not mean that the market's crashing. This literally happens every single year during the fall as soon as school starts. The market slows down just a little bit and we see prices come down a little bit. The only reason for this is that all the people that have school aged children like to move in the spring and summer so they get their kids settled into school. So most of those buyers are going to be settled, but we still have other buyers moving. It's just not the volume of buyers that you would typically see in the spring and the summer months. So if you're someone not affected by the school season and you're in the market to buy, it can be your advantage to buy during the fall and winter months because there's less buyers out there competing against you. Now, how long do homes stay on the market right now? What we're seeing is that they're staying between 50 to 60 days. So that also is to your advantage because it means that you have time to actually think about a property. You don't have to rush in and jump into a multiple offer situation. A lot of our clients are able to you know, think about it, come back another day, do a second showing and walk through and really make a good decision that that's the house that they want. We also have a lot of bargaining power with our buyers right now. We just got someone under contract this week. The home had been sitting on the market a couple of months. We were able to get them to come down an extra $20,000 after they had already dropped the price pretty significantly. So great opportunities right now if you are in the market to buy. You can still get closing cost concessions from sellers to help you offset the cost of the higher interest rates. From what the Fed has said at this meeting is that they're not raising rates right now, but they're probably going to keep them at a higher level. So expect them to stay in the sevens for a little bit. And so having the sellers buy down your rate can help you offset some of those monthly payments. Now, there are some cases where homes do move a little more quickly. We recently had two listings that we put on the market. They were priced really well. They looked great online. And so we got a lot of attention at the beginning and both of them went under contract in a week. So not everything's going to sit, you know, 60 days. If you see something that you're like, this is amazing. It's a great deal. Then definitely move a little faster on that one. But overall, usually fall, winter are in favor of the buyers, less favorable for sellers. So if you've been waiting to buy a home in Austin, let's talk to see if it makes sense. This could be the perfect opportunity for you to take advantage of this market.